Chapter 4 in Adam's Car Tutorial Series. Let's perform full vehicle analysis in Adam's Car. Part 1. Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for the latest update. Good day, folks let's start with understanding firstly, what it means to run full vehicle analysis. Running full vehicle analyses in Adam's Car. You can take previously created suspension subsystems, and integrate them with other subsystems, to create a full vehicle assembly. You can then perform various analyses on the vehicle, to test the design of the different subsystems, and see how they influence the total vehicle dynamics. You can also examine the influence of component modifications, including changes in spring rates, damper rates, bushing rates, and anti-rolber rates, on the total vehicle dynamics. Each type of analysis you perform requires a minimum set of subsystems, front and rear suspension subsystems, front and rear wheel subsystems, one steering subsystem, and one body subsystem. Before you can create an assembly, and perform an analysis in Adam's car, you must open and create the minimum set of subsystems required. After specifying the prototype assembly and its analysis, Adam's car, like your team's testing department, applies the inputs, that you specified, and records the results. To understand how your prototype behaved during the analysis, you can plot the results. After viewing the results, you might modify the prototype, and analyze it again to see, if your modifications improve its behavior. The following figure shows an overview of the full vehicle analysis process. Now we will insert a full vehicle assembly template by a new method. Firstly go to a new then full vehicle assembly. Then put an appropriate name for your assembly. Then follow the process of inserting subsystems one by one. Today in part 1 of full vehicle analysis, we will see open loop steering events. The Adams car provides a wide range of open loop steering analysis. In open loop steering analysis, the steering input to your full vehicle is a function of time. The important analysis in steering which we are going to perform is drift event, fish hook event, hands free event, J turn event, ramp steer event. What is the drift analysis? In a drift analysis, the vehicle reaches a steady state condition in the first 10 seconds. A steady state condition is one in which the vehicle has the desired steer angle and initial velocity values. In seconds 1 through 5 of the analysis, Adam's car ramps the steering angle length from the initial value to the desired value, using a step function. In seconds 5 through the desired end time, it linearly ramps the throttle at the desired ramp rate.
What is a fish hook analysis? You use a fish hook analysis to evaluate dynamic rollover vehicle stability. A fish hook analysis consists of two mini maneuvers. One, the quasi-static phase sets up the vehicle at the desired initial conditions. Two, the mini maneuver runs the actual fish hook analysis in which Adam's car computes the steering signal as a combination of step functions and disengages the clutch. The maneuver provides a basis for evaluating a vehicle's transitional response and dynamic rollover stability. The most important factors for this evaluation are steering wheel angle, lateral acceleration, yaw rate, and roll angle. Adam's car conducts the analysis by driving at a constant speed, putting the vehicle in neutral, and turning one direction in a pre-selected steering wheel angle, and then turning the opposite direction in another pre-selected steering wheel angle. This test is also done on the ground level to see the vehicle's maneuverability. What is a hands-free analysis? You use a hands-free analysis to evaluate transient handling properties of a vehicle at limit handling conditions. A hands-free analysis consists of two mini maneuvers. See creating mini maneuvers. 1. The quasi-static phase sets up the vehicle at the desired initial conditions. 2. The mini maneuver runs the actual hands-free analysis by driving the vehicle at a constant speed, with sinusoidal steering input and deactivating steering input at a specified input angle. The time at which to start the freehand event is based on the angle at which the steering input needs to be deactivated, and the frequency of the steering input. The most important factors for this evaluation are Lateral acceleration Steering wheel angle torque Yori Roll angle This analysis you can see on ground level during F1 cars following safety car. What is a J-turn analysis? You use a J-turn analysis to evaluate the rollover vehicle stability at limit handling condition. A J-turn analysis consists of two mini maneuvers. 1. The quasi-static phase sets up the vehicle at the desired initial conditions. 2. The mini maneuver runs the actual J-turn analysis by driving the vehicle at a constant speed, with a specified steering wheel angle and steer rate. 
The maneuver provides a basis for evaluating a vehicle's transitional response and dynamic rollover vehicle stability in the limit handling condition. The most important factors for this evaluation are steering wheel angle, lateral acceleration, yuri, side slip angle, roll angle. What is a ramp steer analysis? In a ramp steer analysis, you obtain time domain transient response metrics. The most important quantities to be measured are steering wheel angle, yaw angle speed, vehicle speed and lateral acceleration. During a ramp steer analysis, Adam's car ramps up the steering input from an initial value at a specified rate. 